Let's talk about the state of Tesla's solar energy division right now. Because we recently got some very good news in the most recent quarterly earnings report that solar installations are way up since this time last year, growing by 25%, which is great. But if we pull back for a second, we actually notice that this second quarter result is only just getting back to the volume of solar panels that Tesla was installing four years ago. And it's still about half of the volume Solar City was doing five years ago before Tesla actually bought them out. We also have reports that Tesla's ambitious and much hyped solar roof product has come to a near total halt on installations, falling far short of Elon's predictions, which is not great. And this all comes at a pivotal moment for solar power and green energy with the United States now generating more energy from renewable sources than from nuclear power plants. And the global market in a sudden conflict-induced scramble to break their ties with hostile fuel producers. Tesla is sitting on a golden opportunity to finally capitalize on a massive new revenue stream, but can they get it together in time? Let's find out. I don't want to dwell too much on the story of how Tesla came into possession of their solar energy division. Basically, Elon Musk helped his cousins found a company called Solar City in 2006 by giving them a bunch of money. The company went on to become very successful. By 2013, they were the number one residential solar installer in the United States. Then in 2016, Elon convinced Tesla's board and shareholders to let the company purchase Solar City for $2.6 billion, and it was incorporated into Tesla's energy division. Many have said that was a bad deal for Tesla, and they could very well be correct. I don't know. What we do know is that because Solar City focused so heavily on a buy now, pay later leasing model for their solar installations, they didn't actually have any money at the time of the Tesla purchase. In fact, they were $1.5 billion in debt because they had been buying and installing all these solar panels and collecting only minuscule monthly installation payments in return. So that's a very controversial story, but it is also the reason that there is so much significance to the fact that Tesla has finally managed to grow their solar installations because it would be a real shame if you were to buy a $2.6 billion asset and then just let it slowly decline and stagnate for five years, right? Well, that's exactly what happened to Tesla Solar. In 2016, the year of the acquisition, SolarCity deployed around 850 megawatts of solar panels. By 2017, after one year under the Tesla banner, deployments were down to just over 500 megawatts. In 2018, down again to just over 300. 2019 was below 200. So that's unfortunate. And when Tesla reported that they had deployed 106 megawatts of solar in Q2 2022, that was great news. Finally, a break in the losing streak. This was actually their highest quarterly performance since the third quarter of 2017. Still brutal, but a win is a win. We also got some interesting details from the company in their quarterly shareholders report. Tesla writes, solar deployments increased by 25% year over year in Q2 to 106 megawatts, the strongest quarterly result in over four years. Although we continue to experience import delays beyond our control on certain solar components, we have expanded our supplier base to enable growth in this business. Our solar installation team continues to improve installation efficiency, enabling higher volumes and stronger economics. So the issues are being addressed. Progress is being made. Better late than never. Speaking of which, how about the solar roof? Also wanted to give a quick shout out to our amazing Discord community. Here is our question of the week, and this was our favorite answer. And here is the meme of the week winner. Join our Discord community to participate next week through the link in the description below. As much as there is reason to be hopeful about the solar energy situation on the whole, we've still got to talk about the solar roof because something's gone wrong here. 
You're likely familiar with Tesla's solar roof. It's an amazing product idea. It's basically the roof of the future. Solar panels and roofing tiles combined into one singular product. Get two birds stoned at once by replacing your roof and installing solar at the same time. Plus, because the photovoltaic cells are perfectly integrated into the roofing tiles, you end up with a perfectly normal looking high quality roof and you don't look like a nerd in front of all your neighbors. Great idea in concept, bad idea in practice. I mean, it's not entirely a bad product by any means. There are plenty of folks who have gotten a Tesla roof installed and are super happy with it. There are also many folks who have gotten a Tesla roof and are super unhappy with the result. There are significantly more people who tried to get a Tesla roof and ended up stuck on a waiting list for months and years and have probably already sold their house and moved to Texas or something. Tesla has never officially disclosed what percentage of their total solar deployments were made up of solar roof installations. But given the low volume overall and the known complications of the solar roof, we can assume that there are not very many of them out there in the wild. About a year ago, Tesla decided that they had to reassess every home on the waiting list and ended up increasing their quoted prices by something between 40 and 60% on average. People freaked out. Elon Musk said he was very sorry, but that the company had greatly underestimated the difficulty of installing this product on more unconventional roofs. Basically, if you don't have a suburban California cookie cutter house, you are going to have some issues. There were lawsuits, it was a whole thing. Anyway, getting back to the matter at hand, we recently got this very interesting report from Electrek, and they claim that Tesla has actually paused the scheduling of new solar roof installations in most parts of the United States. They don't say why that is, but Electrek did obtain some interesting numbers. So, according to this report, Tesla deployed 2.5 megawatts of solar roofs in the second quarter of 2022. Given the average output for the average roof, that would put them at a rate of about two dozen roofs per week. And remembering that this was their most productive quarter for solar installations in nearly five years. So again, that's not great. It's certainly not the 1,000 new solar roofs per week that Elon Musk claimed the company would be ramping up to by the end of 2019. Now, Elon is usually off with his predictions. He notoriously errs on the side of optimism. But the difference between 1,000 and 24 is pretty staggering. Now, many would be quick to jump in and say that this is because the product is garbage and it's too expensive. Now, I don't know about that. There are plenty of examples here on YouTube of people who have the tiles and they work great. The people who have problems typically relate the source of that to either problems with the installation or the service, but not the actual product itself. If anything, the high quality and over-engineering of the solar roof tiles is one of the biggest hurdles to getting them out there to customers. The roofs themselves are prefabricated at the Tesla factory in Buffalo, New York, and then they can only be installed by Tesla certified roofing crews that go through an extensive training program. And even then, the roofs seem to take on average between one and two weeks to install, which is double to quadruple the time for an average roof job. In terms of cost, yes, it is very expensive. Replacing any kind of roof is going to be expensive. Installing solar panels is going to be expensive. Doing them both at the same time is not surprisingly going to be very expensive. So obviously not everyone who owns a house is going to be willing or able to shell out for a Tesla roof. But many people are. There is definitely a higher volume of paying customers than two dozen a week. So something isn't lining up. And likely this all comes back to our old friend, the supply chain. Tesla's comment about import delays beyond our control on certain solar components is likely a reference to supply constraints from the Far East. The People's Republic of China 
has a near monopoly on production of photovoltaic cells that exceeds 80% of global capacity and is growing. What's more, they like to keep those panels for themselves. They're bogarting the solar. China is undergoing a massive push towards green energy. They've quickly become a world leader in electrifying transportation and are home to about one third of all global solar panel installations. And it's hard to blame them. To be fair, the air quality in Beijing is worse than indoor monster truck rallies and it apparently causes something like 1.5 million excess deaths per year. So it's hard to be upset really about the lack of solar progress. A lot of it is just chalked up to circumstances beyond anyone's control and general symptoms of the garbage excuse for a modern world that we've constructed. But they're working on it. Again, the whole point of making this video is that Tesla has actually made progress even in the face of great adversity. And from the sound of things, they are on track to continue making gains. I wouldn't be surprised if they just decided to shelve the whole solar roof thing for a little while and focus on the easy wins, the standard, regular old solar panels. The important thing is transitioning the world to sustainable energy, not having a fancy looking roof. So this is a story to watch for sure, and we are pretty optimistic that Tesla is going to continue to rack up big numbers in the solar division and really start to gain back some of that lost market share. When people make the case for Tesla being more than an automaker, we already know that they have strong pillars under energy storage, artificial intelligence, robotics, and software. Imagine the strength of the company if they can add a strong, highly productive solar energy generation pillar to that foundation. But as always, let us know where you see things going for Tesla Solar. If you happen to have a Tesla Solar roof or are waiting on a Tesla Solar roof, please let us know about the experience so far in the comments section below. Always good to have a real world account. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up today if you liked it. That is so important for getting our content out to more people. If you enjoy the content, then you'd probably also enjoy our weekly newsletter. So sign up with the link down below at theteslaspace.com. A huge thank you to all of our Patreon supporters who are listed on the screen now. You help us make the best content we can, and we really appreciate it. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.